Trucker Steve here. I'm going to read you my instructions for doing a reverse all set back. From the stop position, that is when you completed test number three for all set tracking. Your tractor and trailer is parallel to the outer boundaries and you will back your tractor and trailer into the alley. The rearmost part of your trailer must be in the three foot box of the rear of the alley. Step number one, once again, the tractor and trailer straight and parallel to the outer boundary. Step number two, starting from the position that you completed the test number three, this is where you're going to start your test and that you are parallel to outer boundaries. Step number two is you're going to back your back into the alley. You're going to start your back up. Now, you can start from up here if you want. I prefer back in the trailer, get my tandem tires right alongside that cone. Step number three is your setup. You're going to turn the wheel all the way to the left. And you're going to get yourself in a 45 degree angle. Your CDL instructor will show you how to do a proper setup. And you're, if you look at the back, when the, the right mirror or in the day cab, look at your back window, you'll see the angle of your trailer going into the box. And I have videos showing what you should see. You want to start off the left, get your angle, follow up with right, look at your left mirror. And when you see your left, your left tandem tire stop, you should be straight. If you are not straight, you need to fix it. Sometimes all you need to do is you can do it backwards and save yourself a pull up, give yourself a little bit of a little bit of right, come back to your left, and there you just move the trailer over a little bit. If you have a really bad bass setup, as you see in other videos that I have, you're gonna to have to do a slight pull up to your right, come back with your left, and there's your fix. You trailer, you move your trailer back at least one or two yards off the rear cone. Step number four is your straight line back. So, you're going to straight line back. You're going to be somewhere right up here. If you have a 53-foot trailer and a sleeper, this is where you want to be. This is where you're going to back that rear to rear tires right to that line. You're going to give it a right and start backing it up. You're on the right, your trailer tire will be, if you have a sleeper, you, you're, you can get the tires over there. If you in a day cab, sometimes what I usually do is get my dry tires close to the line, close to the line, and my landing gear close to the line. Do not go over the line. If you go over the line, you when you come and follow up, you will be over the right side, out of bounds. You don't want that encroachment. Come back with your left to follow up. Come back with your left and follow up. Get your tractor on the trailer. If you're a little crooked, like this. See that's a little crooked? Stop. Don't encroach. Don't lose any points. All you need to do now is do your pull up. Pull up, get straight, and then back it into the alley. Remember, you have two free get out looks. You make sure your tractor trailer is in the alley. Check your left side and your right side. Don't be in a rush. Make sure that Back bumper is over the cone if it needs to. Right now, it's not in there. So you, after you're set up, you just back it up a little bit. And once again, make sure that you are, your tractor and trailer is, and your front tires, steering tires are straight. Do not blow your horn unless you are 100% sure that you are straight. I've seen many students fail this test. The tractor and trailer look pretty straight, but they were close to the left line or the right line, had the wheels all the way turned and the tires were over the line and they failed their test. Don't be one of those students. Think it through, get in your seat, make sure your parking brakes are set and blow your horn. And some places I say, you know, you can put the seatbelt on, I don't care. Don't, don't take anything for granted or take any chances out there. Pass that test. Don't rush, don't force it in on a mistake, fix it. So look at all the videos, because one video you'll get uh, something that I might have forgotten. That's why I put several videos out. So if you looked at all the videos, if I missed something on one video, maybe I picked it up on another video. 
And I appreciate, I hope this video has helped you. And I appreciate you uh, being a subscriber to Trucker Steve, CDL instructor. And also, don't forget, I do have a, a Facebook Facebook site. It's a CDL Students Training Tips. And if you haven't joined, join. And I'll see you on the next run. Be safe, pass that test. Step by step, be careful.